All right, here we are in another Gate Crash draft, and look at this pack. Oh my goodness, I just don't even know what to do anymore, Robbie. So there's a a Simic Charm. Yeah. Which is really good. Yeah. I've heard. Yeah. Or I've experienced. It's also a Frilled Oculus, which is really good. There's a True Fire Paladin, the only Boros card in the deck. In the pack. Yeah, the pack. <laughs> well, it would be the only Boros card in the deck. We take it. Well, that'll be true for anything. Yeah. Um, well, not true if we take a burst of strength. That's not a Boros card. Well, no, it'd be the only card of our. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being ridiculous. Under City Plague. Yeah. I take the true fire here still. I I agree. The best card in the pack. It's the best card. I I mean I like playing Boros. It's fun. It's just I it's kinda of boring for you, the viewer. So there's a second true fire paladin. Yeah, but <laughs> is it better than biomass mutation? I mean we have to consider it. <laughs> I think when you start with true fire, true fire, you're pretty happy. Yeah, I'd say so. But I saw the Fire Fist Striker first, <laughs> so I might have to take that first, because I saw it first, you know? Because if I were sifting through the the packs one at a time, I would immediately see that and windmill slam it into my deck, you know? Well, that's because you're terrible, apparently. Yeah. Oh. And, <laughs> and I don't fire. look at the rest of the pack, because <laughs> I just assume, you know? That's why you should only draft on Moto, then. <laughs> Even then, I don't see all the cards, according to... Um, <laughs> What's his name? Uh, beloved Child. Beloved Child. Beloved Child. <laughs> oh, man. There's no Madcap skills here, though. So I mean, we'd totally take it over any of these cards. Yeah. Madcap skills. So I was looking for a third True Fire Paladin. I was really hoping for the Greed play there. Yeah, uh, come oh. on, man. There is a Massive Raid. It, massive Raid's an okay pick here. Um, with the True Fire Paladins, the plus one, plus three, and first strike on a blocker is really good. Because he has Vigilance, so he can both attack and block. What are you talking about? The, uh... This? Above it. Yeah, that's really good when you have multiple True Fires. The Gargoyle's good here. Oh, I didn't even see the Gargoyle. See what I mean? <laughs> um, I still think it's Master Raid. I think it's probably Master Raid too, because we'll probably table one of those other two. I agree. But if we At table least the, the Resistance. Yeah, the Resistance is really good. Ooh. There's a Screecher here. <laughs> if you want to go Boros off, I don't. I don't want to splash yet. I think because we have a good Boros card in our pack. Yeah, the Griffin. Yeah. Over the Martial Glory. Yeah, I, I think right now creature over. Oh. I agree, especially a good creature like a Salt Griffin. Yeah. yeah. Silica Creatures is one of my favorite two drops, though. So. I think my favorite two drops in order are the Boros cards. <laughs> <laughs> then Basilica's creature. <laughs> Yeah, the Screecher and the Syndic are both really good. Just And then probably Disciple the old way. So what do you take here? Do you take Slaughterhorn? Do you take Urbis well, Predator? Slaughterhorn is... I'd probably take Slaughterhorn and plan very early on trying to be Naya. Like trying to be actually Naya. Not Splash, but just trying to be Naya. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about being Naya when I have two true fires though. They're good in every they're still good. Like Yeah, I guess late they're still good. I just want to play one turn two. Um I I like that plan better than trying to play a Thunder Fist or something, so see how this rolls. Maybe that would be like interesting. Right now the, right now our worst card is massive raid because it's double red. Right. Um but it's still fine. Yeah, worm imagery is very good here, um, and we may maybe table our worm. Hmm. I think midnight recovery or purge profane uh, will make it back before worm. Yeah, I can hope. But so far, I only missed on one really for the Boros deck. But maybe this will be interesting for our viewers as well. Trying to say um, to to draft Naya. Rather than just straight Boros. Wow, Shamble Shark really late. But there's there's still a good card here. Yeah. The transport. So. Can you imagine if Shadow Slice, if you splash that in Boros? Well, it's called Borzolf, you can do it. It'd be really good, you know? Because 
I don't know, because you're, you don't have much evasion in Boros. So your creatures are easier to block. Yeah. If you have some, uh, like, Skyjacks, a bunch of Griffins, and, um... Oh, Legionnaires? I, yeah, never mind. Then you're just really good Boros. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need Shadow Slides. <laughs> so, Prism's good if we're going Naya. Not that we're committed to Naya yet, though. No, we're not committed to Naya yet. But... Alright, so... Borzov? <laughs> yeah, I guess we just take the Grizzly Bear and... Nope, for the best. I mean, we we can go either way right now. Yeah, we got one of each, so. Yeah. There's a death approach. You like maybe taking a one drop here? I think, because if we're in Borzov, it's good for us. It's a better aggressive card. It turns on, it helps us turn on. It's still a 1 earlier. 1, but I guess it's a 1 1 that can regenerate, so it's kind of like assault transport, so. Or <laughs> assault transport, armored transport. Sure. Uh, there's a fear is resistant. So, yeah. I agree with the True Fire Paladins, it is better. And we still have two packs to pick up another one, perhaps. So, yeah. Dude, if we get up a trip True Fire Paladin, I'm going to be so happy. Dude, it's happening. And, <laughs> you know what? We'll we'll go far as far as saying that, ooh, Boy Mountain. Um, we will also play a Sunfire Guild Mage. So, taking the Razor Tip Whip here and playing it for that one extra damage that we can't push through. Dude, this card, so good. It's like Extort that you don't need to play a creature for. And that you don't gain life for, because you don't need gain life, it's Boros. <laughs> you don't care about your life. So good. Playing it. So, there's um, this card. That card's actually really good. I know. But fortunately, it's not in our colors. Um, so a second Slaughter Horn, a Viper. I kind of like the Viper here because we're probably likely to see a Bomber Core. And he's really good with Bomber Core. I agree. Let's try for that. Okay. I mean, Slaughter Horn is probably the pick here. But since we're trying for Naya, I like the idea of the, the Viper here. Right? Yeah, plus he's another common slot horse common. <laughs> right. More likely to know the slot horn than a viper. Yeah. And bomber core is common, so. Mm -hmm. And not very highly drafted. Ooh, wow. Wow. Five uh, alarm fire, huh? I saw the gift, and but then I saw five alarm fire. See, I saw sending the ties, and then I saw the five alarm fire, and then I saw the gift. I was oh, like, man. This is a pack. Can I just take three picks out of this? I mean, it's five alarm fire, but. Jeez. I remember when I wouldn't even consider this a card. I read it like, whatever. Yeah, same here. And then I... Got played against him, lost, and... That's how that card became popular. <laughs> yeah. Someone played it because he's a scrub. and every, Because everybody misread it, too. <laughs> everybody did, except some one douchebag that, you know, actually reads cards. But he doesn't win ever anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then some guy was like, ah, hey, whatever, I like this card, it's fun. And he just win with it and everyone's like holy crap that's what that does <laughs> so there's Boros Elite here there's a Goblin and there's a Salt Griffin also a Pit Fight but probably not playing that what do you take out of this? Boros Elite tend to agree that's the end of my sentence <laughs> I was going to say a butt but then I didn't I mean, I could see the work for the flyer, because he flies. Uh, so, Darian Skyjack. Yeah. Uh, pretty easy pick there. Holy mantle! <laughs> so, yeah. I like how we're not seeing Bomber Course. Like, how that's the one card that we're not really... <laughs> we can get past the True Fire Paladin all day, but not a Bomber Course. <laughs> right. It's definitely a good sign getting past True Fire Paladin. Second pick. Well... I guess not second pick, but if you get something like that third pick, that's a really yeah, good Yeah, I wonder if they took over it. What was like, gone? Was a rare still? I think it was a rare gone. I think the rare was gone. It was probably like Ghost Dad or... Opsodot. <laughs> that's Ghost Dad. Oh. It's probably Ghost Dad or Ghost Dad. Or... <laughs> I didn't know that. 
Uh, uh, I like Hellraiser Goblin. This is a really aggressive deck. So, I know you don't like that card. But... I tried playing it the other day to see what I thought about it, like, at an FNM. Mm -hmm. And it really has made it like me, make me like it a whole lot less. Like, I really think I'd rather just pay the one more mana and have the, the Gargoyle most times. Like... Maybe now that the format's changed a little bit, perhaps you're right. But I think it's only bad against Simic, really. I I think it can be bad against or uh, Orgov, I, too, that has all the walls. I'm vouching for the card until I see otherwise. So for me, it's Hellfire. It's a goblin. Plus, we're super aggressive, so I, that's why I want it. And we're we're still playing Gutter Skulk, so... We're not playing Gutter Skulk. Just kidding, man. <laughs> All right, so... So we're taking the swine here. You think? Absolutely. It's so good. Like, Are we I, still Naya? That's the question. Yeah, we're still Naya. But we don't have any way of splashing. Didn't we take a... Uh, I mean, we have the prism, but that's it. You have prism. And we have tiny another prism or a gate. And what else we take here? A tiger? No, the denizen, but I'm... Even in the right deck, I don't like it. Yeah, then the swine's just good. It's really good. No, I agree. I agree. So, here's a uh, Soku Guards. I like it. I think I'll play it regardless. You think you will play it regardless? Yeah. I really like the Soku Guards and Boros. I don't know why. It's just, it's fine. You know, it blocks, so you stay alive longer. And. So there's a worm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess a 7 6 in, in Boros is pretty good. I mean, everybody hates this card. What is wrong with Scalegorm for six mana? Nothing! Like, that's what you want to do in in Naya. Is just play huge dudes. I've, do, I've been playing that guy from the beginning. I had a deck that had three of them, and I was so happy because I had three of them, uh, four green side watchers and four gates, and I was just excelling into that thing. Do you like Night's Watch here? We don't play it, but it's probably the best pick for us. Yeah. Ooh, Tillian's fine. I will fix our mana. You know, I mean, since we're splashing red. We're that, splashing red, we're splashing green. Yeah, I'm splashing green. <laughs> I mean, that'll fix our green mana. Eh, I'm not really a big fan of playing the Frenzy Tilling. Don't you understand what I'm saying, Robbie? Yeah, once you have your green mana, you can fix it with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I got it from the beginning. Like, no, you didn't. I <laughs> didn't want to acknowledge it because it was stupid. <laughs> well, you gotta be mean. All right. This card is just oh, it's so bad. I hate it. I know. I I wouldn't like it if it gave trample either because it's just too much mana for that. It would still be a card Better. then. You yeah. Know, you might play it. The haste is just like what? Why is that even on there? Yeah. Wizards, it's like you didn't even test this card. I'm sure they did. They're like, hey, we want to have one really crappy aura for new players to think is awesome. Just to make them feel bad about themselves when they it, lose. It could be it. because that's that's one of the things that I've I've um, read or watched a lecture about um, when they're de making decisions on cards. Yeah, they specifically make worse cards so you can see. Oh, this card is better than this card. You know. Yeah. So you make that transition. And you start to get better and stuff, and you make that deck decision. Holy crap! Master Raid's still here. Um, yeah, so, I, I, like, they they could very well have planned that. So, I don't know. I just can't see any situation where haste is rel... Maybe, okay, I guess there's a situation for everything, right? For every card, even. Yeah. But, I mean, the circumstances are so limited, especially in limited, <laughs> that it's just never going to happen. <gasps> So we open an angel. <laughs> it really is fury, but I mean we do need the guild gate for the I splash. Swear to God, if you take the guild gate, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm walking home. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a green side watcher for our Naya deck. <laughs> we don't have the guild gate yet for the green side watcher. <laughs> well, we're gonna table the guild gate because they're gonna take a really is fury over it. <laughs> Now there's a cynic here. 
I'm gonna take that. Be yeah. happy about that. I like Cyclops, but the Cynic's way better. Oh, I agree. Cynic's way good. Yeah. So yeah, this is a really, really good deck. I mean, we it's got guild scoring ward, so I'll pick here. Signet or Legionnaire? I got Legionnaire, right? I got Legionnaire too. I actually, yeah. Because we're passing three really good, we're passing two really good cards and that sucks, but. Yeah, it's gotta be Legionnaire. Yeah. This card's really good. Yeah. First time I read this, I was like, oh, holy crap, I love this card. Yeah, way back in Ravnica? Yeah. I remember playing that so much. Yeah, like, I don't like the new picture as much as the old picture. I don't remember the old picture. It's better. Let's go look it up. Sky Knight Legion Ravnica. City of Guilds. Oh, yeah. This is so much better. Look at that. I like that. A lot. Anyway, there's Skyjack and a Halberdiers here. What do you take? Skyjack. Tend to agree. Because you might be on a forest and we might not have the double color on turn one. It's true. It's true. On turn two, so. It's very true. Still no Bomber Core. Yeah, I know. Like, how weird is that that we haven't seen a Bomber Core? So, girl, key rune here for the splash. S what if someone just has, like, man, I got eight bomber cores, I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Foil Assault Griffin. So right now, I think I'm right now, like, not playing this. Right now, we have, like, a 60-card deck. Like, right now, we're not of, playing this. We yeah. don't need it. Right now, we might not be playing green. Green, yeah. I don't like the throw. No, because we decided to get black. Yeah. I don't like the whip. <laughs> <laughs> you talk so much crap about that card being good. Yeah. What? You were like, oh man, it's like... I was being weird and sarcastic. Yeah. So, considering our deck, I don't like Pulpit, correct? I don't like Pulpit or Smite. But well, we're taking Smite. Smite. Smite's actually okay because we got the two True Fire Pods. We got the two yeah. Vigilance guys. Yeah. So yeah, Smite's fine. I like it more than Pulpit here. Yeah. Wow. So we're taking the... Yeah. Albedeers. Yeah. Was this our original pack? No. No. That's one we'll be. That's incredible. Scorchwalker's still being here too. But, I mean, it's still Halberdiers. Yeah. All day. Yeah, I think we're actually just straight amazing Boros. I agree. So... Sorry. Cutting this, and then we'll be at 15 lands. <laughs> Well, we'll cut the... Martial Glory? Or Boros Key Rune? Martial Glory. Cut our Swine. We can't play him. Yeah. Did you already cut our... Uh... Your Slaughter Horn. I guess we'll take uh, another... Fierce Resistance, right? Yeah. Fierce Resistance is a fine card. Act of Treason, sure. I like how our curve just kind of stops at four and then Aurelia Fury. Oh, I like that too. <laughs> uh, I don't even care. Take the three, four, because that might be in, if they get it out, it's bigger than our guys. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> oh, one second. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. It's like, all right, hide this. Whoosh. Do we have more creatures we can play that are playable? Because I don't know how much I really like the uh, prism in this deck over just like a creature. Yeah, um, we don't really have any other creatures. Okay. I mean, oops. We have the slaughter horn. I can maybe splash and. Mm -hmm. But if we're splashing the slaughter horn, we want the prism. So if we're splashing it, then we want a prism. We're at so like, I'm I'm thinking maybe add these three cards and then 
take out one card and play 15? <laughs> no, that seems bad. Um, I mean, this seems really good for the plus 5, plus 4, for 3, and playing it as that. Yeah, we can just play that as our 23rd, play 17 lands and play 1 forest plus our 1... We're at 23 right now. Oh, we're at 23? Yeah. But we can play 16 lands in that deck. That's a 16 land deck. And then play 1 forest and 1 prison? Yeah. If we're at 23 right now, though, I don't really see a need to actually go into that. Right. Our deck's really good. Maybe we're just playing a prism as a card that cycles. Yeah. The mana fixing is probably pretty irrelevant. Maybe just playing a... Yo, yeah, let's play a Fierce Resistance over it. And... I mean, we could play a 1-1. One -one. <laughs> it could could regenerate at some point. That's well, bad. Well, I'm trying to say the Prism is better than Fierce Resistance. The second Fierce Resistance. Oh, you're saying... Do this. Yeah. Two Fierce Resistance. Hmm... Because the mana fiction doesn't matter, the drawing the card it could is is okay, it's a free card, but it's better when you're really going to want to mana fix. I don't think our deck's really going to want to mana fix. Well, the whole idea is, though, you're playing a 39 deck card deck then, and yeah. the Fury's Resistance not doing a whole lot for us, because we're on the attack most of the time. I mean, yeah, we have the True Fire Paladin, but since we're playing 16 lands, that could maybe get us out for that third or fourth land that we need. You know? Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, play that over in the or, second Fierce Resistance. Or, because of the double red requirement and then the double white here, you know, maybe it gets us out of a, a situation like that. How many creatures are you playing? 14. You're playing two Massive Braids of 14 creatures? What else do you play? A Night's Watch? I mean... But no, I'm trying to say if you can get the green in by cutting one of the Massive Braids, the Fierce Resistance... And then playing 17? Or, wait, okay, let's look at it real quick. We have plenty of time. Yeah, and just cut one of the massive raids and get the two good green cards in there. So, Swine, Slaughterhorn. How many cards is that? 24. And then going... See, if I do this, though, I want to play Girl Key Rune. I don't do this without Key Rune. So opinion. maybe, maybe it's Gruel Kiro better than Smite. Smite be, might be pretty dead for us. Could be. That allows us to have... One forest plus the key rune plus the... That's three sources. For two, for two mana. Uh-huh. This gives us another land or another red source. Yep. In case for our... I, I like that. Yeah. I think that's a fine splash. Just just makes our deck, if, if it's on a 5 scale, it's probably maybe, I don't know, a 3.2 now. Just Let's just assume a 3.2 is right. By doing this, instead of how we had it before, maybe that's a 3.1, you know? Yeah. It just makes it slightly better, in my opinion. 7.72? Seven, seven, mm, nope. 8.71? Nope. Other way around. Because what? our ghoul key room can be get red. We don't have a... We have two artifact sources that get us red, counting the prism. Uh -huh. Only no artifacts that get us white, or just the prism that gets white. So if we switch it the other way around... Plus we have... A white tons one Tons of white one drops. Okay, I agree. Yeah. Okay, that's why I ask, yep. you know? Because that puts us in nine sources of red, and nine sources of white, and three sources of green. Yeah, that's fine. Too bad we couldn't get one of those gates, you know? There's only just better cards for us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not playing Smite. And I mean, not... you know, we passed up the Gruel Guild Gate for an Aurelius Fury. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> seems okay, but I don't know. I've heard it's okay. Hey, won the die roll. So uh, our team he... has a new team name. We're now Team Motor of Colos. <laughs> Guys, those of you who don't know the Antiquities cards, well, learn them. They're your friends. Hey, Mold of Five. Hey, <laughs> we, we just won a game! 
Good game. <laughs> Did you really send that? No. <laughs> I didn't want to be a dick. So. <laughs> so, uh. We, uh. What do you think about sideboard? So we're on the draw now. <laughs> I think we do sideboard. Like, put in a smite or something. No. I'm serious. We're on the draw. What, what, what is smite better than in our deck? Knowing, I'm looking. Knowing nothing about his deck. I'm just assuming being on the draw of smite is going to be fine. You know? Okay, so make an argument for a card you want to take out. Um, it could be better than Massive Raid, maybe. On the draw. Okay. You went after the card you know I hate. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Massive Letdown over there. <laughs> and we, this, I don't count as a creature. I count as this as Pump Spell, so we have 15. Same with this. I mean, yeah. I thought you looked at the Griffin, I was like, the Griffin's a pump, though, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a creature. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that I probably don't agree with Massive Raid Takeout. It's just that... You want to you wanna put the smite. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but more importantly, I want... You were like, okay, tell me something else. It's, <laughs> shit doesn't belong in there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, what about this card? <laughs> ha I'm right. <laughs> At least... According to you. Um, so this could be a massive raid. We'll see which, <laughs> which is better. I, I think I like Smite better here. Um, what do you think about this hand? I keep it. I don't see a reason not to. You? I mean, it's got a really is Fury, so that's pretty good, right? And we're, we have pretty good shots of drawing twos and three drops in the next couple of terms. So. Yeah. <laughs> We're up a game. <laughs> so. Good old trusty land. We should have just conceded this game without playing. <laughs> <laughs> just multiply <of> five concede. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. There's our bomber core! <laughs> this is the guy with eight bomber cores. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Is there any reason why I should not play a mountain here? No. So I'm going to play planes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't show more sectors. I color. <laughs> He's going to have the Viper, too. Ooh, look at that. He's playing bad cards. <laughs> Bomber core. <laughs> okay. So. So we get a 3 4 when we smite that thing. <laughs> yeah. We're going to attack for 2. I mean, we could have really Fury hit. <laughs> for 1? And not kill it? Oh, right. So yeah, this guy's sending himself up for the 3 for 1. Yep. I, I always try to put that stuff on the stack. I mean, if he kills this, that's really bad for us. That's fine. He goes good. So, 1-1? One, one? No. And no. Then it, we'll smite oh, we'll right, right. We can't turn. smite. So. Yeah. And then the turn after that, we can kind of maybe do some blowy out stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Worst adaptation, huh? Ooh, he gets to deal one damage. Ouch. So, yeah, Smite. Better than Massive Raid <laughs> right now. It's still blocked, bro. Okay, <laughs> still blocked. I'm still okay with that exchange. Hmm, so do we do it now? 
I'm going to go through as an instant so we can try to see if he's going to respond to an attack step with try to also maybe respond to a uh, blood rush trigger. So we take the four, you mean? No, 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 no. We wait to see if he blood rushes. And then if, well, no, just do it now. Well. <laughs> Too late. I mean, we can do it during his beginning combat. We can do it now. Yeah, let's do it now. Let's do it. One to him and... You can do three. Yeah. Can, you, stuff. can only play creature spells this turn now. Yep. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we should have waited. Oh, well. Jesus. Hey, this is why we play our of our land, so we can draw them. If he's only playing one ones, though. <laughs> Ouch! Hey! Well, as long as you keep drawing spells, the Silica Guard is gonna keep that thing in bay. Yeah. Game back to one line every turn. Yeah. Nope. <sighs> <laughs> so we have six lands left. <laughs> He's like, what is he holding? <laughs> That's pretty neat. Like a massive raid right now. Not the deck anymore. I guess we can play that. Right? Yeah, we have to. And we'll uh, go ahead and extort it. Yeah. Man. The real is Fury. Killing that 1-1. One, one. Who would have thought? Apparently he just has a bunch of spire tracers land. Uh, we lose, right? Yep. Okay. All right. So taking out Smite. Smite was good. But not anymore. And putting in the massive raid. He has a bunch of X ones. Massive raid will be fine. Yeah. Um. Anything else? No, I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. We're gonna play first. We're gonna. Gonna keep that. Yeah. This is for one drop. <laughs> we really have one one drop though. That's true. Hopefully, draw one of our two drops. There's his one drop. There's my two drop. My two drops better than your one drop. That's for sure. Turtle was really good though. Actually. Mm -hmm. But he's playing a lot of really small power. <laughs> really? That's really. Mm, we didn't get in there. Yep. What do you think? Armor transport? Yep. Watch him block. With his 1 1? Yeah. He's playing like Aura dot deck. Yeah. We should be able to beat Aura dot deck. Should be, but you know, if he puts a massive or a whatever it's called on there, maybe not. Um, do we go for the land? No, we swing bull first. Yeah. Give it first strike. Yeah. Mm, he kills that. Can we save it? No. Nope. Well? Oh, yeah, we can. But can he block now? What, what stage is he in? I don't know. He's in declare attack step. Well, then... Well, then we're... He three, yeah, we get three for, for two. Three for two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just do that, yeah. Get, get our value. And he takes five. <laughs> that this isn't um, forest. Yeah. It's okay though. Do 
Let's lock and lock. Hmm, that's right. I wish we were play, playing a Daring Skyjack this turn. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Now he's got a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, he's got a 3-3. Three, three. Probably going to swing with it, though. No, probably. Well, okay. So, do we play for the land now? Nope, we still can't because we got plays. Uh, what do you think he has here? Although, maybe we do play that for in case he has another trick. We can. Yeah, he can pit fight maybe. We can. But then he can regenerate from the Blood Bowls. But I got to fight. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, go ahead and play that and. Play for the land. Now, what do we leave up? It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Come on, land. Oh, so good. Alright, um. No need to play it yet, though. Nope. Well, we can give something for a strike. Or pump. So might as well play it. Might as well. Okay. Why not? Let's just get in there. Okay. <laughs> Another true fire? Uh, or is it the skyjack here for six? <laughs> I think it's the skyjack to get the flyer out and be able to just... Yeah, skyjack... With, I think it's Skyjack. Because that would be lethal if we kill him. Could, could be wrong, but... I play, you know, I play Skyjack here. Yeah. It's... Seems right. Because right now we can pump this and give it first strike. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> we beat Aura Dot Deck. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we know that that deck doesn't exists. really exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One drop dot deck. <laughs> All right, we won the, the die. <laughs> Dang it. Um, we're playing first, so I think we keep you and know. hope to draw a plains or a mountain. Or, yeah. A plains? Yep. A plains. Yeah. But if we don't, we still have a turn three play. But dang, dang, that's that's the risk of the splash. You yeah, know? but that's, I mean, what, is there one in there? I think, yeah. Yeah, because there's one, the key rune, and the... Yep. And who knows, that we could draw the 5-4. Mm-hmm. And really get there. So, you know what I'm really happy about? That Moto took away the ability to watch previous games. Yeah. Now... I would have been okay with it if you are um, currently done with your game. You can watch a game um, that you played it or something. No, 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 no. That that is currently going on. You cannot see hands though. Okay. I'd be okay with it. Second two. Alright, how about yours? Yeah. I guess we draw whatever it's called. We're gonna play a land this turn, right? Yeah, don't worry. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm not upset that you say it. Because <laughs> I've seen it too. That's fine. Ooh, see what I mean? But is it good here? Because then we just trade, but he takes. We trade our true fire for it. We can't. Oh, that's true. No, that's not good here. Uh, I think it's just Griffin here. Yeah. We can swing with it. Yeah. I mean, if he wants to block, that's fine. Yeah, he wants to trade off the guy and thing like that. And we can just play our thing and draw a card at that point. Hmm. It's foiled. Mm hmm. And then next turn we can play this. Well, we need a land. Yeah. We need a mountain to be precise. Yeah. Wow. So that just happened. But, but that just happened. No, but... <laughs> uh, so true fire and the... Uh... Well, I want to play this first. Is 
And then next round you can play that guy. Yep. Barring his play here. Right. Hopefully he attacks for two. I doubt it, but hopefully. <laughs> and he can... He has six cards in hand still. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's fine. Ooh. So that seems better, playing this and then this. Uh, maybe well, they're not. still training for true fire that way. No, we're not attacking with it. We have to attack whether you play the raid. Oh, one. right, right. <laughs> so I think the best play is attack with the true fire. He won't block. Uh huh. And then play this and this? Yeah. If he blocks, whatever. Yeah. And then next turn we can play the goblin. But see, now this is my point against the goblin right now. Like, look, if that was another creature, we probably would have been able to play it out right now. What creature were you considering over it in the draft? I don't remember anymore. The f gargoyle. The gargoyle. Yeah, if it was a gargoyle, you'd play it on a fly you'd play it on a flyer at one point. This is still fine. I don't know, I, I think we could have played it there and attacked. And then second main played these in the next we, turn. We could only played one of them. We couldn't play all three of those cards. No, we play this and then second main play this. Oh. Because he doesn't block. And then we get in an extra, well maybe he blocks here, but I doubt it. But not. But instead, this is still fine. He already used his awesome plan defiance. I have a four five. Yeah, we don't play it again. So we attack with this. We attack with the armor transport, the skyjack, and the true fire power, right? I think so. We play on the land first, though. Yeah. So we can pump. We can pump. Pump. pump first strike. First strike. And then, we, does that... That's six points, so we can kill both of those things. He Good. keeps his double block, doesn't... Good. Yep. Perfect. He still takes three. And he has to block earlier, or else he's taking six. Depending on where he blocks. He may play the second main. But maybe not. I would uh, stop the, the six damage here if I were him. Yeah. He's he's thinking he's going. Sure. Oh, he can blow it up. No, it comes blocked. Oh, it becomes blocked. And it's a short target enchantment, isn't it? Artifact or enchantment. Yeah. I think I'm just going to pump a bunch here. Yeah. Make him eight. Yeah. That seems fine. Then he attacks. We don't block. <laughs> so, well, you play something here, so never mind. That's pretty good. Depending on what you can do with it. Yeah, I'm assuming something good. He has six mana still. Five mana. Five mana, yeah. I mean, I guess he could play a land. Yeah. That's five cards. He's deciding which one to play. So what's our best draw here? A really scary? That'd be pretty good. Okay. That's a card. Play another one. Oh. So play two creatures, it's pretty good. You getting in there for four? I wouldn't. What you got? That's pretty good. Um, that wins, right? Does it? Yep, he's tapped out. We swing with four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that wins. Yep. Alright, now for you. I 
I didn't miss it. <laughs> Hmm. All right. So gruel. Uh, what do you feel about the cyborg? I like fierce resistance. Yep. And what about smite? Master was really good that game, surprisingly. Like. I think his creatures are going to be bigger though. Yeah. So I don't like it. What do you have with Furious Resistance? Maybe Furious Resistance? And just keep in Smite? Are we at 40 cards right now? 41. Yeah, maybe we just don't turn the Furious Resistance. I can see it. I really like that card with the True Power, but... I agree, but our deck is just... It's really solid. Mm -hmm. Active Treason seems really good against Gruul. Mm -hmm. Soka guards to block off his small dudes is good. Yeah. Armored transport is about the only thing, but then you're taking out a creature. Yeah, I think we just do the smite trade. And... Yeah. We'll just do that whenever every game runs a draw. Probably. Hmm. This is a keeper. Yeah, I say so. <laughs> awesome. <coughs> so we've drawn about a third of our land, so. Alright. That was a good draw. No, I can see playing the 2 2. That one. Well, no, because we don't want to tag in with that guy. We want to. Depends on what he plays. No? Not doing it now. Um, I think I'm just playing transport here. Mm -hmm. and passing. Speaking of transport, Holy Mantle might just kind of. Yeah. <laughs> get in there fast enough to win. Be pretty good. That's pretty good. Is that the play, though? I think that's our best play. We can put it on here and just pass. But then eventually this is going to... Well, we want to put it on our least valuable creature. So this way, if they get rid of it somehow, they don't get our most valuable guy and that. So we're trading four for four, really. And then... And we have pump in our hand. Yeah, that's true. But we can't play it yet. Not yet. Hmm. We'll get a madcap skills on it, too. Don't worry. <laughs> right. I guess, worst comes to worst, we can keep it back. But this striker makes it difficult. We did get the first hit in. So that's helpful. Hmm. I'm just worried about the uh, assault, ground assault. Mm -hmm. Boom. Do we trade here? Yep. I agree. If he has pump, then that's fine. He's got to use it sometime. Because mm -hmm. I want to be able to block this if I need to. So, yeah. Yep, yeah, we do that. Well, we lose this, though. That's fine. Is it? Yeah. Because we get in seven? Yeah. That doesn't speed up the clock, really. You're going to trade that guy eventually anyway. Like, the, I guess or so. He's going to shy off anyway. Either he's better getting in additional damage than he is just sitting on our hand again this game. I guess we can bluff uh, that goblin, too. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
Do we draw a uh, forest? Forest. We just win. Mm -hmm. Or a any green source? Yeah, green source. Cards left our library. <laughs> Twenty-eight. About a one in thirteen chance for doing one. I can do four. Or thirteen. I mean. Nine. Um, the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and attack for four. Don't kill it. Sweet. Just a five. Play mountain. Nice turn. Let's see, mm -hmm. we got. We took out the massive raid. <laughs> we still have one left, right? We're playing two. Are, Are we, we playing two? I think we're playing two. I think we're playing one. Um... Alright, so we we chomp to save a damage. <laughs> Would really like a spell here. <laughs> <laughs> The spell that I can play. <laughs> Let me call the top decks from now on. <laughs> Seriously. Alright. So. He's a one. Can he stop it? Can he get he a has seven cards. Just needed to land. For what? Curious. Yeah, us too. <laughs> <laughs> our prism, our girl key rune. Duh. Uh oh. Uh, well, let's see. Four, five, six. Yeah, I think we're going to block. Here, right? Yeah. If you don't, we die to the land of fine, so you just told us he had. Yeah. <laughs> you should have won anyway. You could have planned to find us for two, our guy for two, our boys for two, and swung in for six and killed us. You should have won with the clan finds. Two and three? You can do that? Yeah. No, it's X damage to strike creature with flying, X damage to strike creature without flying, X damage to strike player. So. It'd be one, one. No, it doesn't split. You pay. Oh, uh, so... look, see, look, see. What? He's saying he didn't have it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, Whatever. I think it means the land that the clan defines. No. He's talking about the clan defines. Oh, okay. He doesn't have it. All right. So, looks like we are on the. Draw, but we have one drop and a holy mantle. So, holy mantle on flyer is really good. So I've heard. I think we'd put it on the. Nah, I don't know. And a two drop. Oh, you know how much, how awesome a legionnaire would be next turn. Oh or man. Next two turns. Oh man. Oh. Well. Can't win them all. So pretty soon we're gonna make a choice on to what to put the uh Yeah holy mantle, holy mantle on. on. Wow. Worlds dot deck. <laughs> <laughs> Get there. Okay. I'll take it. Pretty sick. <laughs> Gotta admit. Got to admit. Alright, start bitching. I mean start bitching. <laughs> <laughs> Sick curve, man. Thanks. Must be nice. Yeah. With your two two drops. Oh, he missed a land drop. So does he double block here? Why did he double block when he a single block? I don't know. Because he's bad. Apparently not that bad. Like. Tax for two. Okay, maybe he is that bad. I don't know. Guild Mage. Um, so I'm actually sort of a fan of Holy Mantle on our non-flyer here and just start swinging. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> I mean, this is seven damage right here. He's at 
at two land. Mm -hmm. Let's put some out of mugging range. Mm -hmm. We're in good position. Yeah. You can't respond to it. You have no mana <laughs> available. He's just really upset. <laughs> That's pretty good. This is going to be a tough matchup. Not if you only draw two lands in another game. <laughs> Playing fifteen. We played fifteen not too long ago, didn't we? I think so, but I don't remember. Can't block, man. Can't block. I mean, if you want to block, I'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> Moto won't though. Yeah. So we're a point short. If we need uh, that yeah, you goblin. Or any of our green cards? Yeah, any of our green cards. Realist Fury. Realist Fury would work, but I'd rather not show him that. Might as well get in there. That works too. Yep. Which one? This one? Yeah, put the offense on that one. Boom. Eight. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, sweet. One against Boros on the draw. On the draw again. Probably. So smite for. Smite or Furies resistance? I mean, Furies resistance, probably. Well, what's the difference? Um. Oh, there isn't, is there? No. Not really, actually. I mean, I still, I like. Smite's actually better because I don't removed. like massive raid because we're going to be trading. So actually, yeah, Smite's better. Yeah. Because if they have the removal for the blocker. Yeah. And or it's still block. Or the blood rush. Yeah. So. No fight. Anything else? Mm. Whip. Shield of passage. Last damage. Shield of passage, maybe. Not better than any other deck. Okay. Just like the whip. Not better than any other deck. <laughs> All right. Um, we good? Do we want Frenzy Tilly to fix the green mana? Uh, we could side it <laughs> in. Especially since, I mean, if you get stuck on two again. <laughs> that way you can't play any two drop. Can you imagine how mad you would have been if we played Frenzy Tilly in the last game on him? So, this hand. That's a mole. I don't know, man. It's got a, two drop. That's a mole. We got two chances. Ball. And then if we hit three, <laughs> I know. That's key, but I don't like it. Yeah. Hopefully he comes out. Whoa! Mold of three. Mold of two. I mean, now you're just being ridiculous. He's mold to zero. <laughs> and then just concedes. <laughs> <laughs> that match we won two games without playing the card. And that, this tournament, I mean, game one, the modified concede, the last game of the finals. <laughs> yes. What you're saying, Robbie? What you're saying? Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> and that's the lesson we learned today. Uh, like Stolen Identity. It's still our best card, though. Over oh, Stolen Identity? Absolutely. I'm going to beat you with that card before you get to six mana. You think?